Hello everyone, this is Moses from Wolona's Cave. Before continuing with this adventure and finishing this series, let me recap the last episode quickly. I asked the community to submit ideas of where our pirate crew will end up, and I rolled randomly for a result. The result was the pirate crew woke up on an island, they were restrained, and surrounded by cannibals. Admiral Tutos luckily was not considered part of the crew through a lucky fate chart dice roll. Through Admiral Tutos' actions, the crew became free from their restraints and then combat ensued, including an incoming massive tidal wave. Now the pirate crew is at a point where they are confronted by yet another obstacle, which is of heads of the undead protruding out of the beach sand and blocking their path to their pirate ship, named the Burning Ghost. Now with all that covered, let's continue. Mary, Angelica, and Captain James take a quick, deep breath. Admiral Tuto screams in relief. <laughs> Angelica wastes no time and begins untying herself and the rest of the team. Uh, let's see now. Uh, Captain James yells out to Admiral Tuto to come down from the palm tree. You know, he's holding all of the stuff. They all retrieve their personal equipment from Admiral Tuto. Now Captain James taps Admiral Tutos on the top of his head and says, That'll do, monkey. <laughs> that, that'll do. <laughs> Captain James sees his ship, the Burning Ghost, in the distance past all the emerged heads of the undead on the beach. Now, I don't think he wants to risk running through the beach and getting bit by what seems to be dozens of zombie heads. Now he thinks to himself that it makes more sense to go through the jungle around the zombie heads. He yells out to his crew, Everyone, through the jungle, follow me. Now they all begin running through the jungle, but they did not get too far. The same sound of the zombie heads in the beach could also be heard ahead of them in the jungle. The crew can see many plants shuffling close ahead. Then they see zombies walking towards them, too many to even count. This is the result of the savage leader's potion. And then Captain James yells out again, I'd rather deal with just the heads of these abominations. To the beach! They head back to the beach where dozens of protruding heads of the undead are gnawing away at whatever they can get their teeth on. The crew has now returned to the beach. Captain James swiftly looks at all of the moving heads in the sand. Now I don't think Captain James can survive this. So he thinks to himself that there is no possible way to make it. He almost died already before, so he's really worried. Um, he, he has to think of a plan. They have to hurry up though because they can hear the walking zombies getting louder and closer. Captain James then turns to Angelica and says, Give me your rope. She tosses him the rope. Captain James gives one end of the rope to Admiral Tutos and tells him to not let go of the rope. Since Captain James knows Mary is the strongest, plus three strength, he tells her to grab Admiral Tutos by the tail, <laughs> spin him around a few times, and toss him over to the other side. <laughs> and then he's, uh, Mary and Admiral Tutos looks at e look at each other in kind of like worried look, and then uh, Captain James says, Don't worry, we've done this before. <laughs> Captain James tells and shows Admiral Tutos to wrap the rope around the tree and pull tight after you land. Admiral Tutos acknowledges and understands. Luckily. Mary then grabs Admiral Tutos by the tail and Captain James has the other end of the rope. Now we gotta do a dice roll for this. <laughs> this is the first time I ever did a dice roll throwing a monkey. Uh, it's going to be strength, uh, d20. I'm going to put it at a uh, difficulty rating of a 12. She does have a plus 3 to strength. And she rolls a 13. Plus 3 is a 16. That's success. Awesome. So Mary grabs Admiral Tutos' tail and slowly starts spinning Admiral Tutos around and quicker and quicker and quicker and then tosses him in the air, <laughs> flying over all of the undead heads in the sand. To the other side. Admiral Tutos is screaming and soaring over all the zombie heads in the sand. <laughs> then he lands again on the beach, unscathed, and then he runs and climbs a palm tree at least six feet high and wraps the rope around it four times, then he pulls the excess rope to keep it tight. Admiral Tutos screams to let everyone know he's ready. 
So what I'm gonna have them do now is I'm gonna have the rest of the crew traverse over the rope. So Mary, Angelica, and Captain James begin to traverse on the rope. So now all three of them are hanging over dozens of zombie heads waiting to bite them. So it's gonna be another dice roll for all three. So it's strength again, traversing the rope. Uh, DR of 12, difficulty rating of 12. Um, so Angelica has a negative one. So she rolls a 19 minus one is 18 success. Mary has a plus three. She rolls a three. Oh, plus three is a six. That's a failure. Captain James rolls a negative one. That's an 18 minus one, 17 success. So Mary, so unfortunately, Mary has no more devil's luck points. So now let's go to the narrative. Angelica made it across and began helping Admiral Tutos pull on the rope to make it even tighter. There's enough strength now holding on the rope that now Mary and Captain James both at the same time can traverse across. As we know what happens though, halfway, Mary falls. Captain James yells out for her to jump back on. Mary tries, but a zombie head has bitten her foot, clamping her down. Mary yells, I'm stuck. Mary then falls over and there's zombie heads right next to her head now. Captain James hurries across. Once he makes it, he yells out to Mary to throw him her musket and bag of rounds. The walking zombies are now on the beach and walking towards Mary. Captain James gives the musket to Angelica and tells her to keep shooting to keep Mary safe. He can see that his crew is no match for this many undead. He tells Angelica that he and Admiral Tutos are going to get on our ship and once we do, we are going to fire all cannons to take out as many of them as possible. But before we fire, I will ring the ship's bell. Once you hear the bell, you and Mary need to run into the ocean. Angelica nods her head and replies, Aye, aye, Captain. Then Captain James and Admiral Tutos run off for the ship. Angelica then turns around and begins firing at the walking zombies. Now Mary is still surrounded and is not trying to move at all, laying down in the prone. She doesn't want to get bit again. I'm going to use something new for this series. I'm going to use the progress clocks from Blades in the Dark to aid in uh, calculating the shooting of uh, Angelica towards these walking zombies. So we're going to see how that works out right now. Uh, it should work out really well because there's going to be a lot of firing and it just doesn't make sense to roll initiative or have initiative really at all. If zombies are, you know, I'm, I'm assuming they're slow or I'm going to play that, I'm going to play it as that, that they're slow and they're coming at me slowly. So there's no point what... It's my turn, and then the zombie turn, they move another two steps forward? No, so it's just going to be basically a, a shooting frenzy right now. So we're going to do that with the progress clock. I'm going to have it with uh, eight ticks. So Angelica is going to be using her ranged attack, firing with Mary's musket. Uh, that's using presence, so she's a plus three on that. That's good. Uh, it's a d20 roll, so uh, I'm going to set the difficulty rating at 12. That's the average. Uh, so basically a nine or more and uh, it's a successful um, fi uh, shot. So I'm gonna play it to where if she rolls a 20, it's a critical, and that means that one bullet basically went through two zombies, so it saves a round. Because I believe, yes, a Mary only has 15 rounds left. That's it. Okay, she has 15 rounds left. Let's see how many she actually needs. We never know when we need more bullets later on. So there's eight tick marks on the progress clock. If she misses eight times, then Mary will be overwhelmed and devoured, leaving Angelica alone on the beach. So Angelica raises the musket, aims it, and starts firing. Okay, that's awesome. Angelica had four missed shots and many were critical hit. She obviously focused greatly to protect her twin sister. Awesome. Four criticals equals four rounds left. Luckily, I need all the rounds I can get right now. Captain James and Admiral Tutos are now boarding the Burning Ghost. 
Captain James tells Admiral Tutos to push all the cannons to the port side. Admiral Tutos moves all the cannons to the port side. He's a pretty strong little monkey. <laughs> Captain James raises the anchor and lowers the sails. He sails the ship to a position to be able to fire all the cannons that they have. As he's doing all this, he can hear all the gunshots going off with Angelica, previously how she was firing her musket. She's not shooting more, this is just kind of like in the past a little bit, what's going on. Kind of doing one event and then going to another at the same time frame. And right when Captain James stops hearing gunfire from the musket, he rings the ship's bell. You know, signifying that Angelica and Mary need to get to the ocean. Off the beach. Okay, now back to Angelica. Angelica looks at Mary, she's still in the prone and surrounded by all these biting zombie heads. She yells at Mary and tells her, that's the ship's bell, Mary. We need to get to the ocean now. And now back to the boat. Admiral Tutos and Captain James are loading all the cannons and spare cannons. Captain James lights a torch and looks out at the beach and sees Mary and Angelica trying to head to the ocean. But he sees dozens of more zombies coming out of the trees near them and some way in the distance are even now running. He knows there is no time left and must light all the fuses. So we're gonna do a dice roll here, a little bit modified, but it's okay. It's gonna be fire broadsides. Uh, it's a d20, of course. Uh, it's gonna be with presence, which is a plus zero. Uh, difficulty rating of 12 again. And let's see what we roll. 18. 15. 18 and a 10. Okay, good. Four cannons fired and three of them are going to hit the area where Mary and Angelica are. You know, basically the zombie heads and the walking zombies. Okay, now back to Mary and Angelica. Mary is trying to slowly get up and run to the ocean, but does another zombie head bite her foot and slow her down? Now, I'm gonna to go to the fate chart for this one. So it's gonna be another dice roll. I'm gonna put the odds as likely, that's a uh, 65 or less, at a chaos factor of five. And I rolled a 57, so that's a yes, unfortunately. So a zombie head that's sticking out of the sand right next to her boot, bites her boot again. So Mary calls out to her sister for help. Angelica looks back at Mary and sees that a head has bitten her boot and a running zombie is very close to Mary. Angelica raises her musket, and she only has four rounds left, everyone, and must shoot the head in the sand and the running zombie running towards her sister. So I just want to make it clear that Angelica is out of the blast area. She's in the ocean. Now I'm going to do another progress clock on this, where it's going to be four tick marks for shooting two zombies. So let's see, a dice roll of presence, that's for range. She gets plus three, a uh, DR of 12. So let's see what she rolls. A 15 and a 10. Yes, that's more than 9. She needed a 9 or more because of the plus 3. So both. <laughs> Angelica is dead accurate. No added tick marks on the progress clock of the four tick marks. Nothing added. So the love of her twin sister is the reason why she's probably so accurate. That's awesome. Now at this moment, they hear the cannonballs incoming. Angelica screams from the ocean for Mary to run towards her. So as a reminder now, Mary has no more Devil's Luck points. So we're going to do another dice roll. It's going to be with Strength. Luckily, she's strong. She's a plus three. Uh, difficulty rating of 12. Let's see if she has enough strength in her to run. Just run with all her might, tired as she is, to the ocean before the cannons land. So let's roll a dice. And we roll a 20. Man, Mary's tough. Mary's tough, it's basically a 23. So Mary musters all of her strength, which is plenty it looks like, and stands up and runs to the ocean next to her sister. And when she gets up to Angelica, they hug each other. And now the cannonballs finally drop in and take out all of the undead in the area. Then they could hear Captain James yell from the ship, get on board, now! Both Angelica and Mary swim to their ship, climb on board, and they set sail. And with that, we end the series using Pirate Borg. Stay tuned till the end of the video though for an exciting ending. I hope you all enjoyed the series and that you learned something about solo role playing. And also I hope that you were entertained as well. Now for a little channel update. 
After a little break, I will be continuing my Dragon Bane series with the character Hackleswell and possibly my original Wallona's Cave adventurers, Gorm, Damara, Sinithel, and Avon, which will now include Kipper the Gnome and his fox companion using Dungeon World. Any other updates to my other series will be posted on the YouTube community page. Thank you all for watching, and happy gaming everyone. Bye. <coughs> oh, where are we? <coughs> Mary, do you know where we are? <coughs> oh, no, I have never seen this place before. <coughs> but it seems like a grim and perilous place. <coughs>